Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm doing a tutorial video on how to get the best rendering settings for Movie Studio 14 Platinum. Now this is an editing software that is currently on Steam. I got it last year while it was on sale for about $24.99. Normally it would be double the price of that one and I only get these during the summer sales or during the Christmas sales on Steam just because I want to get the best deals for them. So a lot of people use this and they always try to find out what the best quality is and how to pretty much start your video when you put it into the actual software. So let's just look into the actual software as we already do. And you notice I've already got one video imported there. Now first things what I always do before I do any video and every time I start this for the first time is when I go to this little spanner icon and once you open up you get the project properties. Now I want to keep in mind you only do this once at the start. You don't have to worry about this any other time later on. So basically what I got here is the template of YouTube 4K Ultra HD 60 frames per second. Then I want to put uh, full rendering resolution to the best and the blends field I'll just keep the exact same default. Now as well what I normally do is I tick this boss to adjust the source media to better match the product or rendering settings. Um, what this means is that if your camera or your uh, video device can only do 30 frames per second um, it will fix it so it will be on matching the same frame rate so why I have it on 60 is because when I'm doing my desktop recording for my gaming channel the frame rate is 60 frames per second for the gaming videos but my camera that I use for recording this one here is actually a 30 frames per second camera and so what I do is when I'm using videos that require on this screen and I'm only rendering from the actual raw footage of the camera I like to go tick this box so I don't have to change it in the future so that when I render everything's still the same it's still the same width the same height the render the full screen render quality is at best but when I click render it will drop it down to 30 automatically and when I'm on my gaming one when I do all the gaming videos on here it's already buffed up to 60 frames a second because that's the recording quality of that device if that makes sense some people get confused with that like what but trust trust me having this on will better suit your videos it saves you doing two types of things so if you didn't have that ticked you have to go back in here and change that to 30 to match your video camera but by ticking this it will adjust it for you so you don't have to worry about it and then what you want to do is click the start all new project with these settings click apply and then click ok and that's done and when you exit and come back to it later on it will be saved for you now keep in mind when you upgrade to the 15 one you will have to redo all this again which is I know a pain in the ass but if you think about it it's a one second step that you don't have to do again unless you install install it and then reinstall it or put it on a new PC. Now it's on to the video um, rendering process and what I'm going to do is put my video into the storyline and then once it's already there I want to go to make movie. Now you can go into project and go on to make movie that way or render as. I always like to go to the make movie bit so that I can select where you want to make the movie. I've always done this, this is all my, my, already my first step but I save it to my hard drive then I always tick the mp4 format only because it's good for creating videos ready to go on the internet particularly YouTube and also it will keep the video file low but also keep the quality the exact same really high and um, most people will use the WMV which the only problem with that one is that the file size will be extremely high and if you're on a slow internet you don't have time waiting three days just to upload one clip where well, you're going to just do mp4 get the same quality but the file size is much lower and makes it much more easier for you to upload and I'll be doing it successfully for my channel for about over 10 years and you want to do is click mp4 go into the advanced options let that load up and then Already I have a preset called YouTube 4K Ultra HD 30 frames per second, but you want to go into the rendering options, okay? Right about now you see all these other formats, like hmm, which one do I go with? Now, for one that I've been using is the main concepts, the A AVC slash AAC. Now you can choose from any other variety that you want. But I went with this one for this actual movie studio. The one that I have for Movie Studio 15 is different, but I will talk about that in the 15 video. This is for the 14th one that I use. So when I'm clicked on to the main concept, 
I then get this option of all these other rendering bits. Now you probably notice there is no YouTube 4K Ultra HD on your one because this is a template one that I made. So what I did, funny enough, is just go into Internet 4K and then click on Customize Template. When you've done that, you will get this screen. Now what I'm going to do is bring up my one that I got here. Now note that I have a 1080p 60 frames per second one. That's because previously before I got my 4K camera, I was recording in 1080p. Now I don't need that no more, but I keep that there as a reminder and just because I need to go back to it if I'm ever doing old videos from my past. So I'm going to click on customization. So I'm going to bring up my settings that I use. And you basically want to copy it basically. I have my profile on high. The frame rate is 30. Now the reason why I have this on 30 is only because my camera does uh, 30 frames per second. But if I wanted to, I could make a number one and do 60 frames per second with the gaming videos. But now I use 15, I don't really need to worry about changing this one. But you can always make two. Have one for your gaming and one for your vlogs. It depends on your camera. So if your camera can do only 30 frames per second, then keep it at 30 frames per second. Never put it as high than what your camera can do. So if you got, like my camera does 30 frames per second, I'm not going to put it on 60 frames per second because I'm wasting all that time, that extra time rendering for no different than quality whatsoever. And once that's done, you get the vario bit rate. I always keep the same in default. Then you've got the audio, which is already set. Then on project, this is the one you really want to worry worrying about, is that you have the project rendering quality on best. And the um, one underneath it, I just keep it at the default, use project settings because I don't use a 3D model. So just keep that as default so you don't mess anything up and that's all you need to do for that one and then if you click the actual star what that star does is means that's your favorite so the next time you would load this after your next like the next time you want to come over about a week later and you click render it will come straight to this option for you another thing as well when you are doing these videos you want to click onto the actual video clip right click go to properties and then from there you want to go disable resample and then you want to maintain aspect ratio untick that and those are my rendering settings for movie studio 14 i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please share your support by liking the video if you have any comments leave them in the comment section below and i'll make sure i will do my best of my abilities to answer them and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos then all you gotta do is tick that subscribe button tick the post notifications and keep on the wagon and i'll see you next time and until then take care